Welcome to section uh, three of the CodeIgniter app tutorial. Um, in this section, we'll be creating a new controller, which will be a, a home controller, and that'll replace the default welcome controller. Uh, and on the home page, it's not going to be much. If we look at our finished product, we basically um, just have a bootstrap template, uh, we have a, a heading, paragraph a login form which we probably won't do right now um, and the nav bar alright so pretty simple layout um, so let's get to it so I'm gonna go into my controllers folder and we want to create a new file and I'm gonna save that as home.php alright so the format of any co any controller in Code Igniter is going to be uh, class and then the name of the controller with a, a capital uh, letter at the beginning and we need to say extends CI control whoop, controller alright so this will be our home controller class and it's very important to extend CI controller and we can actually create our own root controller and put it in the core folder which I'll show you how to do later uh, that'll be called my controller and we can then um, we can add methods to that core controller uh, but that's later so right now all we need to do with this controller at the moment is um, bring in the view the home view alright so what we want to do is create a public function called index. All right, so this whatever we put in here is going to be it's going to be called when we call our controller. So when we say my to do slash home, uh, whatever we have in that index controller is going to show up. All right, if we change this to let's say I don't know um, app that to, to access this method through the URL we'd have to go home slash app alright and then whatever we put in here will uh, it'll run in the browser when we visit that um, that method so the common URL structure for this is controller slash method and then if we want parameters alright so params so as an example, if we said uh, public function app, and then we put in an ID, all right. So this ID would be the params, all right. So we would have app slash, I'm sorry, home controller slash app method slash uh, ID, which would be basically a number, all right so that's how the URL structure is and you can actually change that if you want uh, if you want to switch things around we can do that through the routes file which I'll go over in a little bit alright so what we want is to get this home controller to display a view alright now to load a view is pretty easy we just want to say um, this load view and then the view name which we'll just say uh, home alright so let's save that and if we reload it's not gonna work because we don't have that view so we need to go to the views folder and create a new file and we want to save this we want to save this as home alright home.php and we'll just say this is the home view okay so if we save that and then we go and reload nothing happens uh, this load view home that's very strange oh I'm sorry, I never, <laughs> I never changed this back, so we want this to be index, and we don't want to pass in a parameter. Alright. 
All right, so now we get this as the home view. So whatever we put in this view is going to show up when we visit the home controller. All right, so what I want to do now is I don't want I want the home controller to be default because right now as it is, if we just go to our app, it still goes to the welcome controller. So to do that, we need to go to config routes.php and this default controller we want to uh, get rid of welcome and put in home all right so now if we go back and reload now our home control our home controller and our home view is showing so we can actually go ahead and get rid of the welcome controller I'm going to delete that and I'm going to delete the welcome message view as well So what I want to do now is go to the home view and I'm just going to paste in some HTML. All right, so we have no, um, actually let me get rid of this. We have no dynamic code now, okay? So this is just a HTML uh, bootstrap markup. All right, so if we save this and reload, we have our title, menu, and then our main content and a footer. Now, we don't have our CSS and JavaScript included, so we need to do that next. Now, we don't want to put our CSS and JavaScript in the Views folder. Uh, we want this publicly uh, available, so what we need to do is create a new folder in the root directory. So I'm going to open up. This is our root directory, okay? So you should be able to see the app and sys folder. And alongside it, you want to create a new folder called assets. All right, and in that assets folder, uh, we want to add a CSS folder and a JavaScript folder. And you can also add uh, an image folder as well, but I don't believe this app has any images. All right, so what we want to do now is add our CSS files. And what I'm going to do is drag in uh, two CSS files. And one is the main bootstrap CSS file, and the other one is a custom CSS file, which is empty, and that's for our own custom CSS. And for the JavaScript, I'm going to bring in uh, nothing actually. What we want to do is, I don't believe we need any extra JavaScript files. Uh, we do want to include jQuery though. So let's go ahead and get that um, CDN link. Alright, so jQuery grab this and we want to paste this inside of our head and we also want to link those CSS files now when you want to point to any link on in your app from a view uh, there's a special function we can use uh, kind of like a variable for the uh, the domain. Alright, so we want to say PHP echo base URL. Alright, so what this is going to give us here is this. Alright, it's going to give us localhost slash my to do and then slash. So we don't need a slash after after this. Alright, and that's going to be assets slash CSS slash bootstrap.css. All right. Uh, this is style sheet and type all right so let's copy this and we want our custom CSS all right looks good let's go ahead and um, load alright so here's the uh, the home view so we just have basically our nav bar our welcome message and we have a box which will include our login later now you might not have noticed it yet but um, 
if we keep things the way they are right now, all right, if we just use this load view, then every single view is going to have to have this doc type, the head, um, the nav bar, all of this is going to have to be included in every single view. So we don't want that. Uh, what we want to do is create layouts, all right? So we want to have a main layout that will include all of this. And then we can just include just the view file in the main content area, all right? Or in the sidebar or wherever we want to include it. All right, so what we want to do is in under views, we want to create a new folder and we want to name that layouts. All right, so in that layouts folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it main.php. So what we want to do here is go to the home view, grab everything and paste that in the main layout. All right, uh, and we want to take just the just the home view content. All right, so just this H1 in this paragraph, and cut that out. Go back to the home view, delete all that, and just paste this in. Just the content for the home view. All right, so if we save that, and then what we want to do is in the controller, instead of calling it like this. Um, one thing I, I forgot to mention is when you load a view, uh, actually, you know what? I need to show you how to pass in data. So if we want to pass data to the view, um, dynamic or static, we want to use the data array. And inside of here, we can declare a variable, um, let's say, um, let's just say welcome. All right, so data welcome, and then say we set that to the text welcome. All right, so what we want to do is if we want to show this value, I'm sorry, this value inside our view, then we just want to pass it in as a parameter. We want to pass in data. All right, so if we save that, and I'm just going to keep the view as is like this. So save this. And you can see our layout's gone, but that's fine. Um, what we want to do is display that that welcome value. So in the H1 tag, we can say PHP echo welcome and save. And if we reload, we get an error. All right, so welcome is undefined. Let's see. I'll go echo welcome. The home controller. Oh, I'm sorry. We have this as a capital. We don't want that. All right. So now it's it's giving us that text. So I'm sorry. That shouldn't go there. It needs to go here. All right. So that's how you can pass data. Uh, along and ultimately we want to set our data variables to most likely be a, a model um, call which will call our database grab the values we put the values in our data array and pass it to the view alright so that's kind of an important step that I, I forgot to mention alright so now back to the, the template layout issue instead of just saying this load view we're going to create a variable a data variable and we're going to call this main content and we want to set this um, we want to set this to whatever view we want alright so in this case it's going to be home alright so that's going to give us uh, the home view alright so here we want to say this load view and the first parameter we want is going to be our layout. All right, so we're going to say layout slash main, and that's going to be this file here, the main PHP file. Uh, all right, so we also want to pass in that data uh, array, which is going to be main content, which equals home. All right, so let's save that, and we have our home view. That's fine. 
let's just make this static. All right, and what we need to do now is go into the main view and where we had our main content, which is right here, we just want to include the uh, main content variable. So we're going to say PHP echo, I'm sorry, not, not echo. Uh, we want to load the, the view. So we're going to say PHP this load view. And the view is going to be the main content variable. Alright, so it's grabbing main content, which is equal to home, and we're just serving up whatever view is going to be in the main content. In this case, will be home if we go to the home controller. Alright, so let's try this again. Alright, so now we just have that one layout, and if we need to change, for instance, the title or whatever, um, we can just edit this one page instead of a bunch of different view files. The view files will only have basically what's in the main content. All right. So in the next video, we'll be looking into the the list and the task controllers, along with their models and.